Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Vlog Talk, where we vlog and talk. And today is Thriving Thursday, where we thrive in the Word of God on this Thursday. We are just going to jump right in and get right to it. We're going to get into a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for increasing us more and more, us and our children, Father. Thank you for your revelation knowledge that does flow freely and through us in the name that is above every name. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, that you have supplied all of our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus, not the governor, not the senators, not anyone, not the president, the Democrats, the Republicans, no one, Father. Hallelujah. Not even our spouses and children, Father, loved ones and friends, but you have supplied all of our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that we are not just hear, uh, hearers of your word, but we are doers of your word in the name of Jesus, and we thank you in Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. We're going to get right into it. I pray that you guys are doing well, and I pray that all is well, which I know that it is in the name of Jesus, and we are going to get into the topic for today, but right before we do that, we have a question for for today and it reads are you easy to travel with be honest mm, yes I believe I am because I'm the one that's doing the driving so everybody else either in the back of the car reading a book or asleep or talking among themselves or whatever the case is I believe that I'm very easy to travel with I haven't had any complaints per se but let me know um in the comment section if you guys have are easy to travel with or if you know someone who is or isn't why or why not and don't forget to be honest all right so we're coming from the book of deuteronomy 28 1 through 8 so i'm going to give you a chance to get your bibles deuteronomy 28 1 through 8 so go ahead and turn right now. All right. So we're going to read this from the King James Version. And it reads, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you, if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city. I'm going to uh, chop this up. You're going to be blessed in the city, in the field, in the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your body. Hallelujah. And the fruit of your body, glory to God, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle, and an increase of your kin, and the flocks of the sheep. Blessed shall you be in the baskets and storehouse. Blessed shall thou be when thou come in and out. Hallelujah. So I'm summing it up. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against you to be smiting before your face. They shall come out against you one way and they shall flee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing. Hallelujah. To come upon your storehouses and all that you set your hand upon to. He shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God give thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. Hallelujah. As he has sworn unto thee, if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. God said he will do all of this if you shall hearken unto the voice of him. Hallelujah. And all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you, so they shall respect you. And the Lord shall make you plenteous in goods and the fruit of the body again, the fruit of the body and the fruit of the cattle and the fruit of the ground and the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give you. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain, hallelujah, unto the land and the season and to bless all the work of thy hands. And thou shalt lend unto many nations and not borrow. Hallelujah. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail above and not be neat. If you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments this day to observe and to do them. Hallelujah. That was a mouthful. So God said, if we hearken unto him and to his voice, so be not just hearers of the word, but be doers of the word that God says that he will reverse the curse. Hallelujah. We shall be blessed in our deeds. We shall be blessed in the city and in the field and in the fruit of our body. What does that mean? To be blessed in the fruit of our body. 
That means to be healed. Hallelujah. To be whole in the mind and the body, the kidneys, the lungs. Hallelujah. If you need new kidneys and new lungs, I speak it unto you now. Hallelujah. So hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God in me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you are going to hearken unto his voice. Glory to God. And God said all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. You're going to be blessed in the city and in the field and in the fruit of your cattle and the increase of your kin. Hallelujah. So even among your kin, your kin folks are going to be blessed. Just like Lot was blessed because he was connected to Abraham. He was Abraham's nephew. For those of you who know the story, glory to God. Glory to God. And then what about the enemies? He said that he'll smite them before your face. That they'll come one way, but I'm going to scatter them. And they're going to flee seven ways. Hallelujah. Then he also said that glory to God, that he will make your enemies your footstool. Isn't that what the Lord has said? Glory to God. He said it. Hallelujah. And shall he say it? and not do it and not perform it i know not hallelujah so whatever god has said he is faithful and just to perform and so god says that if we are to do this that he will glory to god that he will he will turn things around for our good he'll increase us abundantly remember that he said that hallelujah that he may come that we may have a life and have it more abundantly so we will be sufficient if we are insufficient but we have to get in the kingdom hallelujah and observe and, and to do according to all that he has said to do hallelujah in the name of Jesus. and then i want you to go to the book of deuteronomy chapter 8 6 through 10 he also said while you're turning there I just wanted to sum this up that he also said that you shall lend unto many nations and you shall not borrow that you shall be the head and not the tail so you are um living on top of the world now hallelujah supernaturally independent from the governor hallelujah that you are living independent from the world system because you are under the covenant of grace which is the new covenant glory to God so you are detaching yourself from the law of Moses and attaching yourself to the law of grace hallelujah that does not mean to take advantage of the grace or to sin because grace is made available if i was to run a red light i would still have to pay the consequences for that thing even though i'm forgiven by the father you understand hallelujah so let's go to the book of deuteronomy chapter 8 6 through 10 and i'm going to read it from the amplified version and it reads so you shall keep the commandments of the lord your god to walk in his ways and to reverently, what does that mean? That means to, to deeply, solemn, respect. So to deeply respect, hallelujah, fear him, respect him. Is bring unto you a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, and flowing forth in valley and hills, a land of wheat and barley, and vines of fig tree, and of pomegranates, hallelujah, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you shall eat foods without shortage or lacking nothing in it. So you're going to lack nothing in this particular land, a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills you can dig copper when you have eaten and are full. Then you shall bless the Lord your God for all the good land which he gives you. Yeah. So God says that you shall enter into a land where there is milk and honey, where there is plenty. And in this particular land, in the land of Goshen, he's talking about the land of Goshen. So we have excluded ourselves from the land of Egypt, out of the land of bondage, bondage, hallelujah, even from Canaan, hallelujah, coming from Canaan, hallelujah, where there was shortage, hallelujah. It started off being plenty, but then there was shortage. So we are even free from um transporting from those lands hallelujah into the land of goshen hallelujah especially out of the land of egypt glory to god and goshen is a land where there's milk and honey where there's more than enough now this is a supernatural land hallelujah that we are entering in so we, again we have to access this land by faith through the grace hallelujah it is by faith that we are saved. by faith are we saved through grace glory to god and so it is a gift of God. So grace is the gift. So the gift is a part of this gift is this land of milk and honey and barley and all of this um, brooks of water that God has promised to give us. And then he said, in this land, you shall find no shortage. Hallelujah. So when the stimulus checks run out, when the unemployment run out, or when your job lets you go, or when your job is not enough and it's becoming insufficient for you, God says that I will supply all your need according 
according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, this is what the Lord has said, that he will bring you unto a land where there is plenty. And so we have to get into this land by first getting into the kingdom. Hallelujah. So we want to get in the kingdom where there is no lack, where there is plenty of everything. Hallelujah. This is the land of overflow. Hallelujah. The land of overflow. Glory. So to God him. says that he is increasing us more and more, us and our children, that we shall find no shortage in him. Hallelujah. That God has, uh, there will be no scarceness. Hallelujah. There will be no emptiness that you shall go and that you shall go not empty. Glory to God. And then when you leave the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage, that you shall go and you shall take nothing with you on this journey. Didn't he say that? Hallelujah. But hallelujah, when you get ready to leave this earth, glory to God. You're going to go knowing that you were fulfilled. Hallelujah. And that you are even fulfilled in the next life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the angel as you, hallelujah, as you transform from being a, a human into an angel. Hallelujah. Into the life of the afterlife. Hallelujah. There shall be, you're going to walk on streets of gold. Glory to God. So there should even be more on the other side. Hallelujah. God has plans to prosper you on this earth. And then he had also went before both of us and prospered us in the name of Jesus, even in the afterlife. God says that we shall be, our barns shall be filled with plenty and we shall burst with new wine. Hallelujah. God desires for us to live in the land of the overflow. Say overflow in the name of well, that's all I got for today, guys. If you desire this land of milk and honey and you're just tired of shortage, period, or even if you're sick in your body, there's a lack of healing. The first thing you want to do to seek change is get in the kingdom. And with that being said, I'm going to ask my famous Amos question. If the world's going to end today, would you be going to heaven or to hell? If the answer is no or I don't know, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord. I come to you now, just as I am. You know my life. You know how I've lived. I believe that Jesus died and rose the third day. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to speak to your minds. Minds be transferred. I cast down all wicked imagination, every evil thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of the Father, every suiciding thought, every uh, hallelujah, jealous thought, foolish thought, unforgiving thought, every thought of lack and insufficiency. I crush it now in the name of Jesus and render it harmless in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I speak things that are pure, lovely, honest, and a uh, hallelujah of a good report in you minds. Minds, you are gird up your loins. You will gird up your loins. You you are you transferred. You are whole, healed, and sound. You are delivered. You are set free. In the name of Jesus, now be healed. Hallelujah. And now I challenge you today to go and open up your Bibles and find out more about who you are in the Lord. Hallelujah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to close out in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, for this message, which went forth, hallelujah, unhindered and unchecked by any outside force. I thank you, Father God, that it was none of me and all of you, Father. I thank you, Father God, that everything is blessed. Hallelujah, that these people that are tuning in, hallelujah, to this video are blessed and sound, and that they have more than enough, Father God, that they are sufficient in you, and that they are walking in the land of Goshen, where there is a land of overflow, Father God, milk and honey and barley, brooks of water, Father God hallelujah and much more father god glory glory and glory financial freedom god healing wholeness soundness deliverance hallelujah father god in the name of jesus wisdom 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 thank you for giving them the wisdom concerning this thing in the mighty name of jesus and i thank you in jesus name amen amen and amen all right well that's all i got for today guys thank you so much for tuning in to my channel vlog talk and it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk